equals 4 over 5 and is located in quadrant 4. We're going to use that fact to find sine 2x, cosine 2x, and tangent of 2x. Okay, first step is to draw this angle. So this angle's got to be located in quadrant 4, which means it's going to be right and down. So my angle is going to look something like this. And the cosine is supposed to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So there's the adjacent side. There's the hypotenuse. To find the third side of the triangle, the missing side, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. And notice that 4 squared plus b squared is equal to 5 squared. So that's 16 plus b squared equals 25. b squared equals 9. And so b equals plus or minus 3. Now normally we'd say lengths are positive, right? But notice that this is down because it's in quadrant 4. So we are literally going to take the b equal to the negative 3 in this particular diagram. Okay, now apply the double angle formulas. So the sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine x times cosine x. So here it's going to be equal to 2 times the sine of this angle is opposite over hypotenuse. So negative 3 over 5. And the cosine was actually given, but we can do it again here, adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 4 over 5. So multiplying this out, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, times the 2 gives me a 24. So we're looking at a negative 24 over 25. Okay, the cosine of 2x is equal to cosine squared x minus sine squared x. So in this context, it's going to be the cosine, which we know is 4 fifths, that's being squared, minus the sine, which is negative 3 fifths, being squared. So we'd have 16 over 25 minus 9 over 25. And so it looks like we get a final answer for this one of 7 25ths. Okay, last place with the tangent. I'm actually going to use a little shortcut here. Instead of the double angle formula, I'm just going to use sine 2x over cosine 2x because we already did the sine and the cosine. So let's make our life a lot easier here. And then the sine and the cosine, actually, we usually have the same denominator, right? Because the hypotenuse is similar between the two, between the triangle that's lying around in the background. So we really just want sine over cosine. So the answer here is, of course, just going to be negative 24 over 7. Yay! Right? The 24 over the 7, because it's the sine over the cosine. Okay, so why don't you pause the video and try this one on your own? The tangent of x equals 1 half and is in quadrant 3. Find the double angle of the sine, or the sine, cosine, and tangent of the double angle. Okay, so when you pause and gave it a shot here, quadrant 3 is left and down. So, with an angle of x, we want opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent. But given that we're in quadrant 3, that means we're moving left and down. So I'm going to call it negative 2 and negative 1 for those sides. The hypotenuse by the Pythagorean theorem would be negative 1 squared plus negative 2 squared equaling c squared. So 1 plus 4, we get 5 equals c squared. So the hypotenuse is radical 5. In this context, the radical, the, uh, the radius of the circle that we're drawing, this hypotenuse will always be positive. Okay, so just like before, we're going to now apply the double angle formula here. Recall that the sine is 2 times the sine of the angle, which is opposite over hypotenuse, times the cosine of the angle, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. For a final answer of 2 times 2 is 4 times 1 is 5 over 5. The cosine of 2 times an angle is cosine squared minus sine squared. So we'll do the cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse squared minus the sine, which is negative 1 over radical 5 squared. So it looks like here we get a 4 fifths minus a 1 fifth, which would be a 3 fifths and then finally, for the tangent, we'll just do the ratio of the numerators here, the sine over the cosine. And so the tangent of 2x will simply be 4 over 3.